All right, guys, so now let's actually set up Roho inside of our sub account. So we're going to go to our agency dashboard first on go high level, right? So app.gohighlevel.com and just go to your agency view. All right. And the first thing we need to do is actually load that snapshot from earlier into our sub account. So to do this, we're going to go on the side menu and just click sub accounts right here. Okay, so just press that. Once you do that, this screen will pop up and then we're just going to search for the sub account we want to add it to. So. All right, awesome. All right, and then now we're gonna um, click these three dots right here and press manage client. So from this screen, we're just gonna press the button that says actions. All right, so click that. And we're gonna choose load snapshot. So choose load snapshot. All right, so now here we're gonna click this drop down and just search for the snapshot that we imported or, uh, earlier. At the time of this recording, it is going to be called Roho Snapshot November 2023. And then just press proceed. All right, so it's going to add all these um, workflows, tags, custom fields to your um, sub account. So just press proceed. All right, sure, no conflicts. Press proceed again. And now just press OK. Now all those automations are going to be loaded into your sub account. So let's go log in into that sub account. All right, so just press switch to sub account. OK, awesome. Now we're inside of our sub account here. Now, if you scroll down on the sidebar here, so again, we're inside that sub account and on the sidebar. So now if you scroll down here, you'll see those three custom menu links that we added, right? AI voice, AI bot and image AI. Okay. So to get set up, we're just going to click the AI chatbot or the AI bot tab. So click that. All right. And here we just need to click this button that says activate AI. So just give it a few seconds. All right. All right. Awesome. And now here you'll see our um, CRM API key, our GHL API key has automatically loaded. Right. So let's start setting up the bot first by just giving it a name. So I'm just going to name it Charles. And then we can choose which model uh, we want to use. So we can choose between 3.5 Turbo or GPT-4. GPT-4 is a lot better. So I'll go with that one for this location. Now let's tell the bot our business name. Right. So I'm just going to make this one for Roho. And then what type of business we have. And here we have the option to give the bot a, a CTA or a call to action link, right? You, you don't actually have to have a CTA link, um, but for this, I'm going to put our booking link for Roho in here. Okay. And then we can also adjust the response time here, but I'll just leave it on zero. Okay, moving on. Let's set up the FAQs. So click on FAQs here for frequently asked questions, right? So the FAQs are going to be the primary source of knowledge for your AI bot. Um, this will be basically all the info about your business. Now it's super important to not overcomplicate things. Keep it simple, right? Um, I would add no more than 20 FAQs. It's super, super important to keep it simple, right? The AI is already really smart. Um, it can assume things, right? But let's add some specific things about our business here. So we can actually generate these FAQs using AI. So I'm just gonna press this train from text plus uh, site, right? So all we need um, is some text to generate the FAQs from. So I'm gonna generate FAQs from my website. And to do this, we're just gonna open up um, our website in a separate tab, right? So I'm just going to open up my website in a separate tab and I'm going to copy all the text from the website here, right? So just copy all that text. All right. After we have all that text copied, we're going to go back to Roho, right? So switch back and just paste that text in there, paste all that text in there, right? And the AI is going to read this and it's going to generate um, all that FAQs from this. So again, all you need to do is just copy some text and paste it in there and just give it a few seconds. Now we have all these FAQs that the AI has generated, right? And then of course, if you want to add one of your own FAQs, you just create this, uh, press this create um, button right here and you can add your own FAQ, so. All right, moving on to the next part of our bot. Let's click on script. We have the script. Now, one of the biggest problems with AI bots is that they tend to get off track and they kind of take you down a rabbit hole, right? A lot of hallucinations. Um, so this script will actually allow you to have some control over the conversation that your bot is having with your leads, which is super important. And it's what makes Roho, um, you know, another differentiator, another reason that we're able to have such high quality conversations. Okay. So we're going to start off by adding our intro message here, right? So this is the first message that the bot will send out when it's triggered. So I'm just going to say, Hey, contact dot first name, right? So it's a custom field from um, GHL. We're just going to add that right there, right? This is Charles from Roho. Uh, 
All right, so there's our intro message. Now onto the script, right? So you can have up to 10 steps in your script and the AI will try to move your leads through all of them. The script is more like uh, instructions for the parts of the conversation though. So for step one, I'm gonna say, uh, ask the lead if they're interested in a custom AI. All right, so that's the first step. And something super important um, to realize, guys, is that your first script step should always, always have you know the same idea as your intro message, because you know if the AI reads the conversation history and then the first message it sends out is different from the first step of the script, where it's just completely a different idea, right? Then it kind of sets the precedent and tells the AI that you know sticking to the script isn't actually that important. So we need to have the general idea of the intro message and the first script step be similar. So anyway. All right, so you can just continue the process for the rest of your script. So step two, I'll say, ask the lead what kind of, right? And then another step. Add another step. So it's super important to keep these simple, right? Don't overcomplicate it. Um, keep it super, super simple. And Rojo is going to work best if we're asking questions, right? So all these script steps should be questions. Um, that's the best way to create the script is have them all be questions, right? So for the fifth step, we're going to say ask the lead if they're open to hopping on a call. Right. And then since we are using this um, booking link as a CTA link, I'm gonna say send the lead our booking link. All right, so that's it for the script. Again, just six steps. Super simple, um, you know, don't confuse the bot. Just keep it super simple. The bot is already smart enough. You don't need to confuse it with a bunch of um, extra stuff. So moving along, we have the extra instructions tab here. Um, here you can put in any extra instructions you have for the bot. Maybe if you want it to talk in a certain tone or keep its messages under a certain number of words. But if you see here, I've limited it to um, a thousand characters. And honestly, it should be less, right? Um, you don't even need to add anything here. But if you do, just remember to keep it simple. Um, do not confuse the bot, right? Two to three sentences is plenty, but again, you don't even need to add anything here. So I'm just gonna say, be super chill, keep your messages short. Okay, awesome. Now here's a super, super cool and actually very, very useful um, feature that we have here. It's the custom variables. Um, they're awesome. So the AI bot will read conversation, look for these variables, right? And it will actually update as custom fields in your sub account or add a tag if it's a true false value. So I'm just going to add a couple of them here, just give you guys an idea of how this works, right? So if you remember in the script, we're asking the lead what kind of business they have. So I'm going to say like biz industry, right? And they'll say the type of business that the lead has. Okay. Add another one. Um, so we'll say leads website, because we're asking for their website as well. We'll say the leads website. Okay. And now um, I'm going to say tried AI before. And I'm going to make this one a true false. So the true false is going to be a tag in a GHL, right? So when the AI bot reads the conversation and they say, all right, this is true, it's going to add this as a tag, um, right? And another thing to notice, guys, is that these are all all lowercase, no spaces in between them because it's a variable name, right? So for the description, I'm gonna say this value is true when the lead has tried other AI solutions in the past. All right, cool. So we got those set up. Now let's head over 
to this preview slash share um, tab right here. All right, so this is a really cool tab here. Um, you can see we have the option to add our uh, AI bot to our website, either as an element, right? So you can add it inside of your website directly in there or as a chat widget, you know, with the bubble and it pops up. Um, but again, so click these to copy that code and you can paste that right into your website. And we can also send a preview link um, of our bot using this, right? So copy preview link. That's going to bring up AIAgentDemo.com, which is just a uh, domain that I bought, right? Nothing else on it, just simply so you guys can test your AI bots and send it to people. So again, going back. All right. And then we can also customize our widget right here. So I'll say Rojo AI. I'm going to leave that the same because I like that, actually. Uh, we can change the background color if we want, right? Get a dark purple. And we can also just test it out right here. So I'm going to say John, All right? Submit. Ever thought about having customer out for your business? All right, let's see how it responds to this. All right, so it's great to hear, John, what kind of business are you running? So super casual, very human-like. Um, uh, so I said, I just said, um, I have a med spa. All right, let's see how it responds to that. Again, you can see it's sticking to the script, and it sounds very human-like, uh, which you're not going to find um, on any other AI bot. Let's see how it uh, responds to that. All right, cool, cool. So then it's going to move on to the next part of the script, right? And it says, can you share your website with us so we can train a test bot? Sure, it's John AI or JohnMedSpot.com. Okay. Awesome. So yeah, it's going to keep going along with that script and, um, you know, just take us down that funnel. And if we go to our contacts now, actually, so go to contacts, we can see here's John, um, you know, added him as a contact and it also added all these tags. So it said AI widget lead. So we know it came from the widget and it also added that custom variable tried AI before, right? Um, as well as the qualifying tag. So very, very powerful, right? But now let's uh, look at how we're going to actually use this on SMS, Instagram, and Facebook, right? So to do this, let's just go into automations here and uh, we just need to set up a few things. The only thing we really need to do is set up the triggers. All right, so under automations, we're gonna click on AI bot workflows. Okay. Now we have the initial triggers are the only ones we wanna you know, touch. So I'm gonna click on initial trigger for Instagram. So just click on that. I'll open it in a new tab. All right, so the only thing we really need to worry about is the triggers here, right? Um, everything else is already configured. Um, from what we set up in the in the custom menu link. So the only thing we really need to do is change our uh, triggers, right? So by default, it's just a keyword. So when the customer responds on Instagram and it's this exact response, right? So bot one right now, then we're going to run this workflow. Um, so you just need to change this keyword to whatever you want right here. So maybe like AI bot, um, you know, and then just make sure to press save. Now, you can also have it um, just respond to every inquiry, right? To do that, we'll just delete this. So whenever a message comes in, right, then we can have it respond. But again, I'm just going to use a keyword. And you can have it triggered from a form, a tag, right? It's really up to you what you want to trigger it with. But I'm just going to save that, go back to workflows, right? And now let's um, test it out on Instagram. So all right, so I have the Instagram hooked up here. So I'm just going to send a DM. All right. So you can see it's triggered our AI bot, and now let's send a response to it. All right, so I'm just going to respond to it. All right, awesome. So you can see it's added that tag and moved us in the pipeline to qualification. And then now it's gonna continue on with our script, right? 
So it's that simple. It's all you have to do. Um, and now if we go back to automation, back to AI bot workflows, then you just need to add those triggers for your other um, channels. So in the SMS one here, let's just go in here. Again, you can have your keyword. Um, you can have it triggered based off of a form submission or even when a contact tag is added, you know, for reactivation. So that's the basics, right? How you set up the bot and, and get it going. And yeah.